Question one, let's begin there. And this is directly from what we looked at yesterday. So there's some language here, language here, that we need to make sure we master because um, the difference between these two is kind of small. And so you can often, you can be forgiven for thinking, well, I, I'm not sure which is which, and it's hard to remember. So that's why we're gonna look at this. Uh, let's do the first one, like the first part of the first one. So, do you remember? Do you have it even written? What makes a number a third? Any takers? Does anyone actually remember enough? Yeah, right. Uh, a square or cube or any like number which has a like unrepeatable decimal factor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's when you um, it's when you take the square root of something or the cube root of something, or I didn't put any other kinds of roots on there. But you're searching for where a number came from. That's what root means, after all. And when you get the result, it's some weird decimal garbage mess that doesn't repeat or anything like that. It just looks confusing, okay? So for that reason, you can see there's a square root here, but Brian's correctly noted that it's not a third. Why not? Because 81 is a perfect square, which means the square root is just nine. And that's not a weird decimal thing going on forever, so it's not a third. Um, this number, by contrast, is a third. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, because if you go to your calculator, actually, can you tell me, what is the cube root of 3? It's 1.44224. Yeah, fantastic. And you can see the decimal places just keep on going, right? So that's always going to be some weird thing because 3 is not a nice cubic number, okay? Um, there's no whole number you can cube to get that. So it's a third. Um, you've already dodged these guys here. By the way, why aren't these certs? Why aren't they certs? Yeah, I mean... Ah, okay, so... Percentages can be rewritten as fractions. That is true, however, I'd suggest that actually doesn't yet have anything to do with the question I'm currently answering. Look back at your definition. What are like the first three words in our definition for what a cert has to be? Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah, there's no square root, no cube root, no any root in sight at all. So if this is the only thing you're interested in, you can quickly ignore any of these other ones. Only these two could even possibly be certs. Okay? And we already worked out that this one is not. So therefore, this is the only one that's left. Okay. Now, I'll come to this pi on two in a second. Let me just say right now, when you have a look, the only cert on the board is this guy. That's the only one. So I'm just going to rub this off. It's not a cert. I'll explain why shortly. Okay, well, maybe you already have worked that one. Let's look at irrational now. Irrational, okay? Now, this is what Akin is talking about. Irrational means it's not able to be written as a ratio, fraction. Um, importantly, between two whole numbers. And that was something I sort of mentioned quickly yesterday, but I didn't emphasize. So maybe if you got your notes there yesterday, where we wrote down the word irrational, it's probably worth mentioning. It's not just any fraction, any ratio. It's where these two numbers are whole numbers, okay? That's a rational number. So if you can't do that, it's irrational. Okay, one and four fifths. How would I write that as a ratio like that? How would I do it? Because it's not right now. How could I rewrite it? Yeah, I think we can write that as nine over five, can't we? Yeah. There you go, there's the ratio. It's like nine to five, okay? We already established that we can write this as nine, but is that a ratio? No, it's current form, but it doesn't take very much work to make a ratio, does it? I can just make it nine over one, and they're both whole numbers, or five. If the number is a cert, which we just already identified, you can automatically say you can't write that as a fraction. So it's also irrational. It's both at once. If you didn't include that on your list, I think you should, because in, these are two different ideas, even though they're related. So you should say both of them. Um, 74%, we mentioned this before. How would I write that as a fraction between two? I could write it as 0 0.74, but that would be a decimal, wouldn't it? I think I'd want it 74 over, because in fact, that's what per cent means. Cent? Cent means 100, right? Out of 100, that's what it is. I could simplify it further, I suppose. It doesn't matter, they're all whole numbers. Okay, then we get to this guy. Huh. Um, what is this? 
Now, if you go to your calculator, your calculator will tell you it's about 1.57, blah, 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 okay? Um, it's not a pair of whole numbers, though, is it? Two's a whole number, but pi is not. Pi, of course, is? 3.1415926, yada, 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 right? It's not whole, is the important thing. In fact, yeah, no, I won't. I, I can't. It was a big unsolved mathematical problem for a long time. People thought, well, I think pi must be a, a fraction of something. You just got to find a really, really big, long fraction. In fact, if you got your calculator there, if you do something like, um, actually, I'm going to steal. Harry, can I borrow yours for a second? If you type in something like, Okay, here's just a, an example I just made up. I just need to make sure it would work. Um, if you type in this into your calculator, okay, um, if you press equals, most of your calculators will just hand back to you that. Is that correct? Do you see that just in your display? Okay. But let's just press the SD button, turn it into a decimal. And if you have a look at the decimal, it looks like it never repeats. Right? It looks like it never repeats. Do you agree? But the reason it looks like that is because you only see the first little bit. If you went far enough, eventually it would repeat. Every fraction does. So people thought for a long time, well, maybe this guy just takes ages and ages and ages to repeat. So maybe we just need to calculate a bit further. And they calculated for a very long time and they never did. Then one day they proved it, that it actually physically can't happen ever. Okay? Which is a bit fancy, outside the scope of what we're doing today. But that's why this... It's not a cert, it's irrational. Okay, can't write it as a fraction. Last one, 0 0.5 repeater. Irrational. Now, it does look because uh, the repeater, what does that mean, by the way? It means it goes on forever. So like this, <coughs> dot, 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 okay? So it goes on forever, so it's kind of like the numbers that are rational, right? With one big difference though. With one big difference. What's the difference? Um, it can go into a fraction. Yeah, because it repeats. Precisely because it repeats, just like this guy, just like all these other guys, it actually must be a fraction. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure it's 5 over 9. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is actually a fraction in disguise. The way you can recognize it is because it repeats. Okay, that's what makes it a fraction. Even if you're not sure what it is, you can work out that it has to be some kind of fraction. Okay, so in fact, it's rational. Okay. All right, let's come to question two. Uh, we'll do this area first. This area, 42 and a half cent well, centimeters squared. Centimeters squared, right? Is that the right number? Yep. Um, height on two times a plus b, and it should check out. Now this perimeter, this perimeter is so very close to being right, but there's a minor floor in it. Can it, someone help me identify it? Yeah, Brian. Um, you need 11 squared plus 5 squared instead of 6 squared plus 5 squared. Oops, I don't need that that far. Okay, the issue is the 11 squared, isn't it? Now, this is a question that is deliberately crafted to see, can you look through what's on the surface and dig a little bit and say, okay, the 11 is there, clearly I need the 11, but can I use it straight away to work out what this, um, what this x is? And the answer is, I actually can't. <coughs> I've got to do something before I can work out what x is. Something I'm going to draw into my diagram. Any suggestions? Laura, what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, so if I put this dotted line down here, if I make it sort of parallel over here, like that, what is this height here? Five. Because it's 5 over here, isn't it, right? So if this is 5, I've cut this 11 centimeter side into two pieces. This side over here is? Five, six. It's 6 uh, on the left hand side, which means this leftover bit is five. also 5. Okay, so now I can go to Pythagoras and I can go ahead and work it out. Um, what is x? 7.1. 7 7.1, uh, I'll put it uh, approximately 7.1. And then you can just make a slight adjustment. So I guess we thought it was 12.1-ish. So I guess this is going to be 29.1, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so you can see, on a question like this, which is worth two marks, this solution gets at least one because most of the legwork is there, right? Pythagoras is there, even though there's a minor error, error in it. And working out the perimeter is there. That's why it's so critical you put your working down because I can see there's understanding just a tiny mistake, right? So make sure your working is there. 29.1, I think is what we agreed on. All 
Okay. 